Well, I'm Greg Melvin, chiropractor, 32 years. I've been doing thermography since 91. What thermography allows us is an understanding by comparing one half of you to the other half, what is inconsistent, what is abnormal. As you can see here in the right, lower, uh, right limb, the increase in heat temperatures compared to the left. So neuropathies, nerve-related disorders, we're not just interested in where it's going, but also where is it originating. And then also we can see a, a correlative heat uh, region in the spine itself, consistent with that right leg. As thermographers, uh, we're like electricians trying to figure out where the short is. Just understanding where the effect is not enough to us. I see a dissipation in this region. I'm always looking as when the images are being performed, where, where they consistently produced. So then if we go back in, do a comparative study, that we can be assured that if there is a change, there is a change. If we measure these temperatures from left to right, they're actually closer than they were. When you read them, as many as, as I have read, very interesting. These things I can see very, very readily. The second digit on my left hand is just now starting to... If you can see just overall, everything looks symmetrical. It's just... Uh, you can tell that there's a lot of tugging into the palm of my hand. And the fingers, what would you say about the fingers? Overall, they're symmetrical. The only one that isn't is the fourth digit on my right hand. You can see that there's an increase in heat on the tip of that finger. And I put this device on and I was just uh, blown away <laughs> that the changes in my, not only could I feel them, but I could see them, that the temperatures that an autonomic nervous system would respond with this bracelet. I, I, I was uh, astonished, <laughs> I, I gotta tell you. I can, I can feel my, my fourth digit on my right hand, I can feel it just as, I, as I'm seeing it with the imagery that it's, it's significantly heated, but I can feel it heated. Now I can feel it in this second digit that I'm moving now. I can feel it in there as, as well. That's amazing, isn't it? I, I'm feeling just the, just exactly what I'm seeing at, on the imagery is exactly the way I, I'm feeling. This is quite phenomenal. And you've been in this room for two hours, so it's not like a temperature change. From <laughs> no, I've, in yeah, I've been in this. this <laughs> that's right, Doc. I've been in, in here all this time, and I, I can't believe now. My left hand. The fingers are starting to all show again. Is is the first the second digit on my left hand is just now starting to to uh, heat up. I can see my palms just okay. just increase. <laughs> is that the coolest thing? And you can see it's happening on both hands. Uh, the first thing I'm thinking of is the autonomic nervous system is. It, it almost like it's rebooting the hands, like it's trying to re-control proper vasal dilation. And it, it's dilating the, the capillaries in the hands. And I'm still in this cold environment, which normally the, the temperatures would be dropping, not, not increasing. You know, intermittently throughout the day, I was having my hands in my pocket, trying to keep them warm, but this is heating them more than my, my pockets were, right? <laughs> the fingers that weren't showing at all now are very apparent in the picture. This is the wildest The last thing two think. fingers on the, on the left <laughs> hand, that is very amazing. Absolutely blown away. This, this is incredible response. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <sighs> amazing. So, it, it, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I just can't explain it other than there was a better communication regarding um, blood supply to the hands is what I saw. And not only could I see it, but I could feel it. I can feel it just as, I, as I'm seeing it. What was phenomenal to me, this is an autonomic function.
It's like telling your heart uh, how much blood it should pump to the head when you go from sitting to standing. You can't do that. I was not anticipating this. I, uh, in fact, I, the longer I was looking at it, I can't believe it. I, when I do imaging, I want it to tell me the story. I don't, I don't want to interject my agenda on the imaging. What I saw today was absolutely a, an autonomic response that could only be explained by what the device is doing. And I don't even know all of what it's doing. This is incredible. What I've experienced with Susie is a definite change in my, um, my comfort. Is that the coolest thing? I think the most dramatic thing that we saw was the real time with Dr. Melvin when we imaged his hands and then put, to, put the Suzy system on, uh, the blood flow just came back into his hands. We'd been in this room for a couple of hours and his, his, you could hardly see his fingertips. You couldn't see him on thermal imaging. And then when he put that on, they just lit up. The blood flow came back. His palms just got hot. You could see all of his fingers again. It was just dramatic, the change that the Suzy system made in his hands and the blood flow and probably lymphatic drainage too. You could see the physiological changes as they happened uh, in response to the SUSE system.